Hi, my name is Alex. I went to SUNY Oswego. I was a human resource management major and I'm interning in the HR department. The Human Resources Department at Suffolk County Water Authority has many roles that allow this company to run smoothly and expand. In the department, there are seven people working every day to benefit the employees at Suffolk County Water Authority. The different roles in this department consist of employee engagement, workers' compensation, FMLA, disability, benefits, and talent acquisition. Day to day, I sit with pe the people of this department and learn the different aspects of, the, of human resources. I receive different projects to work on, including sitting on interviews, different paperwork, workers' comp adjustments, bid postings, and different aspects in the benefit websites. I'm learning a lot by working here and getting the experience I need to excel in my career. My name is Jimmy. I'm a software engineering major at SUNY Oswego, and I'm an IT intern. I worked on IT-related projects where I used PHP, MySQL, Java, HTML, and batch scripting to automate and design software solutions. I also learned about the Water Authority's network infrastructure. Hi, my name is Henry and I study geospatial science and tech systems management at Stony Brook University and I'm interning in the IT department. In IT, Jimmy and I work with various people in the department servicing and building many different technologies. We also gain experience in the many different fields of information technology that will be useful in our future careers. My name is Jack, I study civil engineering at the University of Vermont and I'm interning in the distribution department. On the average day, we conduct flow tests to measure pressure with a gauge at both static and residual conditions. I also research previous hydrant flow tests from recent dates in order to provide customers with information about their pressure and flow rates. Hi, my name is Brennan. I go to the City College of New York. I study civil engineering, and I am a construction maintenance intern here at Suffolk County Water Authority. My typical day starts at the office where I prepare my paperwork for the day. I then drive to various construction sites throughout the island where we supervise and observe our contractors. My role as an interim is to check the various Val Bob contracts throughout the island. Hi, my name is Michelle. I study civil engineering at the University of Rhode Island and I'm an intern in the construction maintenance department. This summer I work in construction maintenance department in Pipeline. I do measurements and markouts all around Long Island to prepare for new water main installations. I also visit job sites and learn about how the contractors install water main, make restorations, and retire old water mains. I enjoy learning and seeing firsthand how our drinking water gets from our aquifers underground and into our homes. Hola, mi nombre es Harsha Sanyal. I'm a civil engineering major at the Cooper Union in Manhattan, and I work in the engineering department. So some of my job involves visiting well pump stations, picking up water samples, and then eventually dropping those off at the lab for analysis. I'm also working on a project, which means I'm designing experiments for 1,4-dioxane removal, a pilot system, with either ozone peroxane or UV chlorine as the two methodologies. I've been corresponding with system suppliers to coordinate the delivery of supplies and working with experts in the field to design the best possible procedure. Hello, I'm Ashley. I'm a business major at St. Joseph's College and I work in the purchasing department. So part of my job is that I retrieve files and perform procurement record checks. I also send out reference requests for quotes and I send out reference checks for vendors. I also perform cost comparisons between past and current products. Hi, my name is Brandon. I am a student at Cornell University studying chemical engineering, and I'm interning in the laboratory in the volatile organic department. A typical day involves extracting water samples in the morning and analyzing them in our computers in the afternoon. These extractions involve very precise use of syringes and pipettes in order to transfer tiny amounts of contaminants from the sample water to methyl terbutyl ether, which can then be injected into our gas chromatography machines. These machines can detect contaminants down to one part in a trillion. Hi, I'm Melissa. I go to Suffolk as a chemistry major and I'm interning in the laboratory department in the organic lab. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use extraction to locate 1,4-dioxane in our water samples by injecting a surrogate and an internal standard to elute them. In the afternoon, I test the pH and chlorine levels for each sample received and set up the sequence for the next day's run. Hi, I'm Lauren. I go to Quinnipiac University. I'm studying molecular and cellular bio, and I'm interning in the laboratory department in the bacteria lab. From day to day, I test for many types of bacteria that could be found within water samples. I look for heterotrophic bacteria using the heterotrophic plate count method. I also carry out a test for total coliform and E. coli within the samples by conducting tube transfers. 
These tests allow us to be proactive and eliminate harmful bacteria from our water. I'm Jared, I go to Stony Brook University, I'm a chemistry major, and I intern in the laboratory department in the wet chemistry lab. I usually work on the wet bench, running a series of tests on water samples using a variety of techniques. I test the pH and conductivity of samples before testing each sample's turbidity, and then titrate the samples with sulfuric acid to, ter to determine the alkalinity of the samples. These tests allow us to determine the safety of the water provided to Water Authority customers. Suffolk County Water Authority is influential, strategic, engaging, authentic, impactful, progressive, cheerful, driven, ever-changing, customer-focused, determined, responsible, dynamic, diverse.